What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the league play system, of course, that is coming out today. We do get league play uh, in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Of course, today is February the 8th. We got a little bit more information from Treyarch in the Call of Duty blog post about exactly how league play is going to work. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Uh, the one bit of bad news in my opinion about this is Treyarch did say in this blog, uh, blog post that this is built pretty much on the Black Ops 4 uh, kind of base system for league play. A lot of people were hoping that this is going to be kind of a re revamp, uh, remade Black Ops 2 league play. That was pretty much everybody's favorite league play. The latter system that they had in Black Ops 4 was okay, but a lot of players, a lot of people kind of quit playing after a while because they said it was not as enjoyable and not kind of, you know, you don't have a lot of incentive to win and of winning and losing as much as you did in Black Ops 2. So it looks like we're going to have that Black Ops 4 ladder style system once again. If you do play Black Ops 4 League Play, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll kind of fight your way through 30 ranks during League Play events. Only the very best are able to uh, win their way to the top of their division ladder. That was another thing that I didn't really love about the League Play in Black Ops 4 was the League Play events were only at certain times. It wasn't like you could go in once again in Black Ops 2 and play League Play at any time and progress or digress, whatever the case may be depend on your wins or losses. Uh, the other thing that they really didn't get into too much detail about was exactly how the progression system is going to work. They did not say, you know, if you win a game, you're going to get this many points. If you lose a game, you get this many points. We'll kind of have to find that out today when we play. But I'm hoping Treyarch will put out something else with this, you know, when the uh, league play actually goes live itself in game. I'm hoping they're going to put out some other kind of article, just giving us a little bit more of explanation of how exactly the XP system is going to work, you know, when ranking up or deranking in uh, you know, these league play matches. Uh, we did also get what modes and maps that will be available in this. Same as the Pro League, Hardpoint, Search and Destroy and Control on either Checkmate, Crossroads, Garrison, Moscow, or Raid, depending on the game type. Uh, it's unclear exactly how the Creative Class system will work. Uh, if you're not a, a person that watches the Pro League, the Pro League players have late, uh, lately have been testing out a new system where the classes are, you know, kind of made by default. They don't get to pre-make or, you know, make their class anymore. They use pre-made classes. They already have everything, you know, taken off, you know, that is banned or whatever the case may be. So there's like a, a, a list of certain classes, you know, each weapon that they can and can't use. And they already had the attachments and, and you know, things already on those classes. Uh, they were pre-made by Treyarch. So I'm not sure if, uh, of course, Treyarch did team up with the, the pro players to, you know, decide what classes they could and could not use. I'm not sure if that's going to be in ranked play or, you know, the league play right off the bat. We're going to have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked it, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.